All right. Uh, let's see. Can we get a show of hands of people out in the audience who like to play online games? All right. Lots of you. Excellent. Uh, so hopefully this talk is exciting and relevant. Uh, my name is Robert Bailey. I work on Google's cloud gaming team. Uh, one of our charters is to help the uh, game industry with open source tools to help them build games uh, better and faster. And today what we're going to talk about is matchmaking. So matchmaking is a really, really important part of building an online multiplayer game. You can imagine if you're playing a game and you get, if you're really good at a game and you get matched with somebody who's really not very good at a game, it's not a great experience for you and it's a really bad experience for them. Uh, you can also imagine if you're trying to get matched for a game and it takes a really long time, then you're not going to want to play that game, right? So there's a whole bunch of attributes. You need to look at player skills, you need to look at latency to the game servers, and you need to figure out how many people you need to make a match. Um, and so you have these player populations and you have matching code, um, and basically this gets rewritten new every time you're building a new game. And so Google decided to team up with Unity and start building a framework to build matchmaking services. Uh, we wanted this to be an open source framework. Uh, that way it could be easily extensible. Uh, it's very flexible uh, and particularly relevant to this audience. It's written on top of Kubernetes. It's written as a series of microservices uh, where you plug in your matchmaker uh, as a service inside your cluster. Uh, and then we leverage Kubernetes to make the matchmaking system flexible and highly scalable. What that ends up looking like in practice is you have your game front end with your core game logic, uh, and that calls into the matchmaking framework. Uh, at the same time, you have a sort of a pool of servers that players can be placed on when they're playing the game, and that's simultaneously calling into the matchmaking logic. And as you have players coming and going, you also have server availability sort of increasing and decreasing, and the framework is sitting in the middle sort of adjudicating between the players that are available, uh, splitting them by skill level, by latency, you know, where, they are, where they're located, and matching them up with servers that are available. Um, and this is something that you can then reuse across your games as you, as you build multiple games in the future. And what that looks like, so if, say if you're building a really small game, uh, at that point, really, you're, you're not interested in a you know, really complex, highly scalable matchmaking framework. But you can still leverage open match to really write a really simple matchmaking function that's sort of like a single function uh, in your language of choice, and plug that into the framework and be off to the races without having to do a lot of work. Uh, but where open match really shines is if you have a really large system with hundreds, thousands, millions of players that are all coming in at the same time. And the player population is segmented into different groups uh, and matched up very quickly, right? And so you might be running hundreds of sort of concurrent matches on the player population looking for the best match to make your game work. <coughs> Excuse me. So now we're going to do something a little bit risky uh, and we're going to do a live demo uh, during a lightning talk. And we're going to see if we can get this to work. All right, looks like my screen got a little bit small. So what we're gonna do is we've got a cluster running. And hopefully we're connected, excellent. All right, so we have a matchmaking function deployed. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start a, a game front end. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna, write, it's gonna create a front end, it's gonna artificially create 100,000 players, right? So we're generating 100,000 players into our server and saying all of these people really want to have a match. So we're gonna make sure that it's up and running. Excellent. And then we're going to see that it's finished. All right, so we've created 100,000 tickets, took a, a few seconds to do that. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna, oh, there we go. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create the actual matchmaker, right? So this is gonna go through those 100,000 tickets and try to group them into different pools. So we're gonna make sure that it's running. Uh, one second. Excellent, all right, and we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna check the logs for this guy. And we can see that we generated 100,000 matches with 100,000 tickets in just 10 seconds, right? So we've got a huge number of players coming in and we're able to match all those players really quickly. 
Uh, what's interesting is if you look at the logs a little bit higher, you can see that we're actually matching them into different groups, right? So some people are playing Battle Royale, some people are playing Capture the Flag, uh, and some people are in sort of our demo profile. So we have lots of different match profiles coming in, and they're all being matched simultaneously. Uh, if you want to learn more, uh, come find us uh, on GitHub or on Slack, uh, or follow us on Twitter. Uh, and if you want to come chat more, please come find me at the Google booth over the next couple of days. Thank you so much.